Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the songs and my reviews in my channel. This LP vinyl is Bach, Brandenburg Concerto, number 5, in T major, BWV 1050. Carl Richter conducted and Munich Bach Orchestra performed. This vinyl was released on Archive Production label in 1967 and the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Note Mardi Phono Super 59Z Vintage Tube Turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working beautifully. And this is a tube turntable, so there are six vacuum tubes inside this vintage machine. Now, let me show you the actual LP vinyl cover art of the box. So this is Archive Production Bach Edition, made in early 1970s. And this is Johann Sebastian Bach and Concertus. And this is the actual LP label itself. And this is Brandenburg Concerto number no. 5, BWV 1050. Now, I hope to tell you about Bach, Brandenburg Concerto, number 5. Johann Sebastian Bach's Brandenburg Concerto, number 5, in D major, BWV 1050, is a concerto for cembalo, flute, and violin, and with an orchestral accompaniment, of strings and continuo. It is one of six Brandenburg concertos written between 1716 and 1721 and is considered to be among Bach's most important and enduring works. The concerto is in three movements. The first movement is allegro, the second one is a fatuso, the third one is Allegro. The first movement is in sonata form with a lively opening theme that is developed 
and contrast it with a number of other themes. The second movement is a slow, expressive movement that features a beautiful melody for the flute. The third movement is a lively dance movement that brings the concerto to a triumphant conclusion. The Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 is a masterpiece of Baroque music. It is a work of great beauty, complexity, and invention. It is a testament to Bach's genius as a composer and his ability to create music that is both intellectually stimulating and emotionally moving. Here are some of the key features of the Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. The use of counterpoint. Bach was a master of counterpoint, and this is evident in Bach's Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. The three solo instruments are constantly weaving in and out of each other, creating a rich and complex texture. The point, actually, the use of melody. Bach also had a gift for writing beautiful melodies. The Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 is full of memorable tunes, such as the opening theme of the first movement and the melody of the second movement. The use of form. Bach was a master of musical form, and this is evident in Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. The concerto is in three movements, and each of which has a clear structure. And the use of rhythm. Bach was also a master of rhythm, and this is evident in this Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. The concerto is full of lively rhythms, such as the dance rhythms of the third movement. The Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 is a work of great beauty, complexity, An invention. And it is a testament to Bach's great genius as a composer and his ability to create music that is both intellectually stimulating and emotionally moving. And now, let me tell you about the conductor, Karl Ritter. Karl Ritter was a renowned German conductor, choirmaster, organist, and harpsichordist, and widely celebrated for his profound interpretations of Baroque and classical music, particularly the work of Johann Sebastian Bach. Born in Plauen, Germany, and Richter displayed a natural aptitude for music from an early age. He began studying organ and piano at the age of eight and continued his musical education at the Dresden Conservatoire and the Leipzig Conservatory. In 1949, he graduated from the Leipzig Conservatory with a degree in organ performance. Richter's professional career took off in the 1950s when he began conducting and performing with various ensembles, including the Munich Bach Orchestra and the Munich Bach Choir. His precise articulation, clear tempos, and emphasis on clarity and transparency in his interpretations quickly gained recognition and acclaim. In 1954, Richter co-founded the Bach Professional in Munich, which became a major platform for showcasing Bach's works and Richter's exceptional artistry. He also established the Munich Chamber Orchestra, further expanding his musical endeavors. Richter's international reputation grew rapidly, and he was invited to conduct orchestras and 
choruses worldwide, including the New York Philharmonic, the Boston Symphony Orchestra, and the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra. He also made numerous recordings of Bach's works, which received critical praise and commercial success. Richter's approach to Bach's music was characterized by a deep understanding of the composer's intentions and a commitment to historical authenticity. He believed in using period instruments and performance practices whenever possible and striving to recreate the sound and spirit of Bach's time. Beyond his dedication to Bach, Richter also excelled in conducting works by other Baroque and classical composers, including Handel, Mozart, and Beethoven. His interpretations were, were known for their clarity, vigor, and sensi sensitivity to the nuances of each composer's style. Richter's legacy as a musician is profound and enduring. His passionate advocacy for Bach's music played a significant role in repopularizing the composer's works and establishing him as a cornerstone of Western classical music. His meticulous attention to detail and his ability to reveal the essence of each composition continue to inspire musicians and audiences worldwide. Here are some of Carl Richter's notable achievements. Co-founded the Bach Festival in Munich, 1954, and established the Munich Chamber Orchestra. Conducted numerous orchestras and choruses worldwide, and made extensive recordings of Bach's world. Received numerous awards and accolades for his contributions to music. Carl Richter's passing in 1981 left a void in the world of music, but his legacy continues to resonate through his recordings and the influence he had on generations of musicians. His unwavering dedication to music, musical excellence and his profound understanding of Baroque and classical repertoire have cemented his place as one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. And now, I hope to tell you about Bach in 1720s. The 1720s were a pivotal decade for Johann Sebastian Bach as he reached the height of his compositional powers and produced some of his most enduring works. During this time, he served as the Kapellmeister, that is, music director, at the court of Prince Leopold of Anhalt Cothen, a position that afforded him the freedom to explore his musical creativity without constraints. Bach's compositional output in the 1720s was immense and diverse, encompassing a wide range of genres, including the first cantatas. Bach composed over 170 cantatas during his lifetime, many of which were written for performances, performance in the church services at Cothen. These cantatas showcase his mastery of counterpoint, melody, and harmonic structure. Orchestra Suites Bach's six orchestra suites, also known as French suites, are a collection of dances for orchestra. These suites are characterized by their elegance and sophistication, and they have become staples of the Baroque orchestra repertoire. 
and Brandenburg Concertos. Bach's six Brandenburg Concertos are a collection of concertos for various combinations of instruments. These concertos are considered to be masterpieces of Baroque instrumental music, and they continue to be performed and admired today. And the well-tempered clavier. Bach's The Well-Tempered Clavier is a collection of preludes and fugues in all 24 major and minor keys. The work is considered to be a cornerstone of keyboard music and it has had a profound influence on Western music. In addition to his compositional work, Bach also, actually Bach was also a prolific performer and teacher. He was a virtuoso organist and harpsichordist, and he was also a skilled violinist and viola, the gamba player. He taught many students, including his son, who went on to become successful musicians in their own right. The 1720s were a time of great creativity and productivity for Bach. His work during this decade helped to shape the course of Western music and his influence continues to be felt today. Thank you for listening to the song and my reviews in my channel once again. And today, I briefly reviewed Bach Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 itself. And also, I told you about the famous director, Karl Richter. And also, I mentioned about Bach in 1720s. I hope you had a pleasant time. And thank you for listening once again. So see you next time. Bye.